Now, if you don't already know by the title of this video, this is going to be a video response uh, to one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Rich of You Tech USA. He made a video recently called Paying to Play Online is a Joke. And he basically talks about how uh, PlayStation Plus is increasing, uh, price is increasing, and just generally it's unfair. And he made very good points. And I want to just state this off right now. I totally agree with everything he says, but I did want to add on some stuff that he said. Uh, this video itself doesn't have to be a response video. I can just make an entire video about it just by myself, but I kind of like the baseline that he kind of set. So I'm just going to response off that video. And if you haven't watched that video, link is in the description. It's going to be the top link. So you guys can go watch it really, really quick. Then come back here to get my response. A um, couple points that he made that I really re agreed with. That you, one, I guess the biggest point that he made that I personally agree with is that when the all the PlayStation 3's lifespan, paying to play online was non-existent. You didn't have to pay anything to play online on PSN. And he said that he was totally fine with if you get extra features that weren't required to play online and you have to pay for it, just like how the PS3 was. He's totally fine with it, and I'm totally fine with it. You know what I mean? You want to get free games, you want to get um some free avatars, free this and that, free t uh, free beta, early access to time trials, you know, all that stuff from PS3, that's fine, you know what I mean, but paying to play online, there is no reason for Sony to do that, except for one, and I'll talk about it at the end of this video, so keep, stay tuned, another point that he made is that it's a joke in a sense that there's other consoles that you get well, not really another console, but let's say on PC, the only internet subscription, the only thing you need to pay to play online is your internet bill. And from my experience and so many other people's experience is that it's the same or even better than playing on the PS3 or, or excuse me, the PS4 or the Xbox One. You get the same experience, the same quality, you know what I mean? You don't get that much uh, shutdowns, you know what I mean? Because it's really just based on your provider. Because you're not going to a very specific service. You're going to the game servers. So, if anything, it is better in a way. And you don't have to pay a dime to play online. And I know a lot of people aren't going to believe me when I say this. Especially they think I'm going to be biased. But it's completely true. I don't I don't slander anything I say on this channel. It's, um I've owned my Wii U for about two years now, and I have never experienced one, like, shutdown of their server. I have never played online, and then instantly I would be kicked out, and I would not be able to sign back in for days. I have never experienced that. And, again, people will think I'm just going to say that just because I'm biased, but that is the truth and nothing but. I have never been not able to sign into Nintendo Network. I have never been hacked i've never been ddos none of that stuff has ever happened to me every time i sign in i'm stay signed in and no problem at all same thing with pc and the point i'm making is that if you play on ps4 and xbox one again i'm not hating on those consoles i really love those consoles i really want to get an xbox one actually their servers are always getting ddos i think recently the blizzard servers were out again um, the Halo servers are like almost always out, you know what I mean? And they hide behind this idea of better experience, this better quality of gameplay, and that quality is non existent. It's, it's non existent. You're not getting anything better, you're not getting this and that, you're getting a worse experience. Uh, another point that I want to make up, make up for his video that he did, he actually didn't mention it, and I really wish he did, was the point, like, how would the developers feel? How would the developers feel about this uh, price jump? Um, think about it. Let's, let's put this in perspective. Let's make an example. Most, I want to say at least 60% of consumers get their, con they got the PS4 console on the holiday season. With the PS Plus, okay? So let's say November, December. Most likely December around Christmas time. They get it, and they know that they got PS Plus. So, okay, we gotta get PS Plus too, okay? 
They got it. They paid 400 bucks and an extra 50 bucks. Okay, for the PlayStation Plus game. Now they wanted the latest call. The next year comes around 2016, not 2016. Excuse me, 2015. They want to get Black Ops 3. Okay, cool. They get Black Ops 3, and then now they gotta re, re subscribe to PlayStation Plus. That's an extra 50 bucks. Now you think? Do you honestly think they're gonna they're gonna be happy consumers and developers? They're honestly gonna be happy that you're gonna pay the same price for a video game because now people have a choice okay people have a choice to either go with the playstation plus or a brand new call of duty game and most games nowadays i wouldn't say require playstation plus but it's almost a it's it's an incentive to get it because i call of duty it's, it's not really that fun without online play so let's say you're a parent who's buying all these consoles and you're buying all these games. Your kid wants a new Call of Duty game. But he also tells you you gotta pay the same price again, $120. Just so you can play online with your friends. Do you think they're gonna be happy with that $10 difference? And you know, you guys might say it's 10 bucks, not a big difference, but it's another video game. It's another video game. And developers are going to be pissed because if it was me choosing a new Call of Duty game or a PlayStation Plus, I would go with PlayStation Plus in a heartbeat. Because Call of Duty wouldn't really be the same without PlayStation Plus or online service. You know what I mean? It, so I would get the PlayStation Plus first and then Call of Duty. You'd think the developers are going to be happy with this. They're not. I wouldn't be happy as a consumer. I wouldn't be happy as a developer. And the reason why... PlayStation's doing this, and I told you I was gonna mention it at the end of this video, is because, yeah, the only reason why is because PlayStation. This is all facts, guys. Again, I don't slander any company. Look it up if you don't believe me. I know a lot of people aren't gonna believe me. I know I'm gonna get two dislikes already. Look it up. Don't believe me. You don't believe me, but it's all true. It's all facts. Okay. Sony is pretty broke. I mean, they just busted um, the new Ghostbusters film. It lost millions of dollars. So, Sony, they're not doing that well, especially around, I think, ever since 2014, when the big Sony hack again um, happened. I think since then, they were been on a, a slight um, downhill, you know what I mean? Very slight. Uh, occasionally, they'll get their peak up. But then, every, you know, it just keeps going down. Sony itself, not PlayStation, Sony. The only one division of Sony that's always been up is PlayStation. The Sony Pictures, they just busted Ghostbusters. Sony TV media, they don't, I mean, do you really see that all Sony TVs nowadays? You know what I mean? Cameras, everybody just buy Nikon, Canon if they want to go legit. And the only thing that really keeping them afloat is PlayStation. Look it up if you don't believe me. And they want that extra cash. They may need it just to balance out the other divisions that are doing poorly like their movie studio honestly i think they should sell out their studio in general because they're just doing terrible but that's the reason why and i'm making this video a lot longer than i planned on but it's it's it's, it's horrible and paying to play is a joke it's terrible that we have to because we have no choice, you know what I mean? It's terrible how they have to treat their consumers like crap. And I really hope the NX doesn't do that. Honestly, I don't see them doing, but I'm not going to talk about NX in this video. Honestly, I don't like talking about NX at all because <laughs> people might think I'm biased. But closing point, playing to play is a damn joke. You can get the same experience or even better on PC. And you never get shutdowns on Nintendo Network. And it's just a joke. It's a freaking joke.